The Shard London Bridge, also known as London Bridge Tower, the Shard of Glass and 32 London Bridge, is a super tall skyscraper approved for construction in the London Borough of Southwark. During this overview I will refer to the building as Shard or the Shard of Glass. After a lengthy public inquiry it was granted full planning permission in November 2003. Designers Broadway Malian drew the initial proposals but towards the end of 2000 the Italian architect Renzo Piano was brought in to rethink the scheme. It will replace Southwark Towers, a 24-storey building which was completed in 1976, which at this very moment in time is being prepared for demolition. The Shard will stand 310 metres tall and have 72 floors, plus further radiator floors in the roof, that element of the design helping to establish the building's green credential, which on paper at least will result in the building being around 30% cheaper to run when compared to buildings of similar use. When it was first announced, it was always hoped that it would be the tallest building in Europe, surpassing Paris's Eiffel Tower which at 300 metres has been the tallest building in Europe since 1889. Upon completion in 2010, Shard will be the tallest building in the country, the tallest occupiable structure in Western Europe. Another skyscraper, the Bishopsgate Tower, was submitted for planning permission in central London and was originally proposed to exceed the height of Shard by one metre. However, the scheduled height of Bishopsgate Tower has now been reduced, so Shard London Bridge will once again become Western Europe's tallest building. Piano, the project's architect, compared his design to a shard of glass. He considers the slender, spire-like form of the tower a positive addition to the London skyline and believes that its presence will be far more delicate than opponents of the scheme allege. He proposes a sophisticated use of glazing with expressive facades of angled panes intended to reflect light and the changing patterns of the sky so that the form of the building will change according to the weather and seasons. Interestingly, the cues he used can be found in a number of buildings either in historical London or contemporary building geometries found on other continents. In addition to the Shard Tower and its associated smaller attached building, commonly referred to as the Backpack, there will also be major improvements to the London Concourse and facilities of London Bridge Station. These will include shops, offices and flats, as well as a museum and a public piazza. A hotel, to be operated by Shangri-La Hotels and Resorts, will take up around a fifth of the available space in the Shard. A large pre-let for office space in the tower has been agreed in principle by uh, Transport for London. Another notable feature of the building will be two public viewing galleries which is expected to draw over two million visitors a year, around the same number that currently visit the London Eye. A shorter building known as London Bridge Place will be built nearby. This will replace the current London Bridge House and the combined sites will create what will be known as the London Bridge Quarter. Out of interest, in order that you can get an idea of the scale of this project and its impact on the uh, London skyline, I'll evoke some imagin imaginative thought by way of numbers. The building will use 11,500 tonnes of steel and use 120 square metres of glass to enclose its elegant tapering external envelope. The pile foundations carrying the building's weight will be bored 52 metres into the London soil immediately adjacent to London Bridge Station. Fast vertical mobility will be provided by way of 43 passenger lifts, 11 of which are double-decker configurations, which are able to stop and open on alternate floors. If I was to take the Gherkin building and place it on top of St Paul's Cathedral, Shard will still be 21 metres above their combined height. The tallest office building in London is located in the newly regenerated Docklands at 1 Canada Square. 
Shard, when completed, will be 75 metres taller. Shard's hotel facility will have 175 bedrooms and there will be 25 residential apartments poised at the highest level of the building to take in the most spectacular of views over London. As well as a stunning bird's eye view of landmarks such as the Tower of London, Buckingham Palace and even Windsor Castle, on a clear day the sharper eyed occupants of this building will be able to see all the way to the English Channel. The building will incorporate 56,000 square metres of commercial office space and a speculated workforce of around 8,000 personnel. In 2010, the skyline looking towards the London Borough of Southwark will be dramatically changed. I personally think for the better.